Hello everybody and welcome to Declare. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0 in your system. So the prerequisites are you should have an uh, RHEL 7 DVD. If you don't have, you can download it over the internet and burn the ISO into your DVD. Uh, insert the tree into insert the CD into your DVD tray and boot your system. So once your system is booted from the CD, you can see a screen like this. You need to select the first option and hit enter. You'll wait till the installation GUI appears. So we just select the, your preferred language and click and continue. From this screen, you can change your date and time settings, your keyboard layout, language support, installation source, everything. So I'll first I'll change the my settings for date. And in the top left corner, you have to click on done. I'll leave this as it is and I'll go to the software selection. Here you have different type of installations. First is the minimal basic installation where you won't get any graphical user interface. You'll have a command line of the server. The second one is the infrastructure server, a file and print server, basic web server, virtualization host. Uh, and the last one is the server with GUI. I'll select this option. Once you select this, you can get number of options on the right hand side. You have uh, add-on software to install. So I'll leave this as it is, but if you want, you can select the, your FTP server, backup server, or you can configure this and install this after the installation also. So I'll go and click on done. So it will do some prerequisite checks for this type of installation. So, and the next important step is the installation destination. So you need to click on the installation destination. This is my hard disk. Uh, I need to select the hard disk. If you are having multiple hard disk, it will show all your hard disk which are detected uh, for the installation and you can select the hard disk. Now we have two types of different installation, the automatic partitioning and the manual partitioning. So if you select an automatic partitioning, uh, the installation will uh, do the partitions automatically. For yourself, you, know, you don't need to do any partitioning. And if you want to do it manually, you can select the second option and you can do the configuration manually. I'll do. I'll show you how to do the configurations of the partitioning manually. I'll select this option, select the hard drive and click on done. So here are the insta our partition table will be a standard partition and in the below you'll have the plus sign just click on it. Uh, I'll select the swap area first and it is recommended that you give the capacity of the swap area double the size of your RAM. So my RAM is 2 GB. So I'll give 4 GB here. G stands for G, M stands for M and K stands for Kilo. So I'll click on add mount point. So my 4 GB is allocated. I'll click on plus, plus sign again. I'll assign and boot partition and I'll give 500 MB for the boot. For the root partition, I'll give 30 GB. And for the home, I'll give the remaining space, 16.69 gigs. So here you can see in the below left hand side, you have the available space as well as the total space. I'll add the one point. So we are done with the partitioning of the system. Once done, you can click on the done and accept the changes. Now, last thing, you can also enable your network if you are connected to the internet and you can click on done. So let's begin the installation now. I'll click on begin installation for the to start the installation. Now you can see below the status here is the installation is started side by side. You can also set a root password so just click on it and type a root password. If your password is weak, uh, you need to click on done two times. 
So one and two. And now you can also create a user here by cl clicking on user creation, give it name. Type in the password. Same thing if you're having a weak password, you need to click two times. So you have root password is set, your declarer user is also created side by side and the installation is halfway done. So let's wait until the installation is complete and we'll take it forward from there. So our installation has been completed. Just click on the reboot. We'll wait till our, our login window is open. And I'll just click on the license information, accept it, click on done and click finish configuration click on forward if you're having a registration with the red hat network you can select the first option and enter the registration details or else you can select the second option and click on finish Just log in with your username. Select your language and click next. Click next. Click next and start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux as well. So this finishes the installation of RHEL7. I hope this has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you are having any queries relating to this video tutorial, please feel free to comment on the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on Linux, Oracle, Android, and much more stuff related to technology. Once more, thanks for watching.